So a new pet, okay, not a pet, but a new piece of furniture, musical instrument, whatever you want to call it. I now have an upright piano. One of my clients buys um, up properties and builds uh, townhomes and houses and stuff like that. And so somebody left this behind. It was an elderly woman that passed away and her family took... I guess the valuable stuff, and then they sold a bunch of stuff, and then my client remembered that I was a musician, so asked me if I wanted to get it. So all I had to do was pay to have it delivered. It does need a good tuning. It is very a little out of tune. But not horrible. I mean, this is, um, I found out, I found a catalog online and this it was built in 1908, and I found a mark on it as well. Um, it's really kind of cool. Oh, I can't lift it with a printer on there. Never mind. But anyway, um, it's in really good shape. Um, and uh, yeah, it was free. But I had some drama today because, first of all, the skeleton key that opens up this old house, dilapidated, filthy, garbage and junk everywhere house, um... The key wouldn't work, but my client's brilliant office manager managed to, um, <laughs> using a rusty knife she found on the floor in one of the rooms, not even the kitchen, I think it was in the bedroom, she managed to pry open the, uh, the door, uh, hinges, and she took the door off the hinges, um, so yeah, so like 10 minutes before the guys arrived, she, uh, managed to get the door off the hinges and then, uh, the move went real well. It was only 25 minutes from my house. So like 50 minutes was like the total time, less than an hour to get this here. And I had been told by the movers that, uh, you know, I'd called around and I told him, I said, well, the most I want to spend is like 150 bucks cause I'm getting this for free and I could just go on a uh, Craigslist and get some, uh, you know, two laborers with their truck and have them do it. But I would prefer somebody who's insured in case, not so much if they damage this since it was free, but if they damage something in my home that they're insured. Um, and so I told the guy the most I want to spend and I wrote all this down and stupid me, I didn't get any kind of quote from him. And so then sure enough, the fucker is writing up the paperwork afterwards and he tells me I owe 354 fucking dollars. And, uh, <laughs> I was like, excuse me, this piano is probably worth maybe, I don't know, three, $400 max. So why the hell would I pay that to transport this piano? Especially when I told him, oh, that's great because I don't want to spend more than 150 bucks. And he played dumb. Like I hadn't even said that. So then being the accountant guru that I am, I remembered that he had told me that it was 10% off if we pay cash and, you know, the real reason somebody would tell you that it's 10% off to pay cash is because they're not going to report that revenue to the state and to the IRS. And so I said, you know, I don't know if you remembered what I said when I joked about your 10% uh, discount, but I'm an accountant and I'm sure that cash payments you're not reporting to the Department of Revenue. And, you know, those are definitely taxable earnings and uh, taxable revenue rather. And so next thing you know, he's on the phone with his boss. And uh, yeah, I paid a total of like a hundred and uh, what I pay? $140. So I did pay a little bit more than I wanted to, but I certainly didn't pay $340, $50, whatever the fuck it was. But uh, such a joke. Um, they also had a third man there that they were charging me 50 extra bucks for. And all the third man did was kind of hang around and stare at my boobs and uh, pretty much did nothing. So why did you charge me for a third man when a third man was completely unnecessary? Um, this piano is not that big. It was not that hard to move. So, uh, and yeah, I will link to the uh, movers for those of you that are local to never use them because that guy totally tried to pull a fast one on me. And, uh, you know, I had the money in the bank account, but there was no fucking way I'm going to pay you twice, what, almost twice, what you quoted me as far as, uh, you know, a one-hour job. Because literally the guys arrived at 4 or 10 to 4, and we were at my house at 10 to 5. 
it was uh, unloaded and in its place. So they spent all of an hour and he wanted to charge me $354, I think it was. Yeah, fuck you buddies. But anyway, but I got my piano and uh, I'm not a piano player, I'm a guitar player, but I've always wanted to learn piano. And now I can, so pretty cool, huh? Awesome.